So I apologise for the slight pause in proceedings with Katie's arms. I'm cognizant of the fact that I've missed uh, this week so far. I will get to it, I promise. Uh, right now I'm in, let's think about it, <laughs> Grass Valley, um, which is a gold mining town here in Sacramento, so California. And I'm just on my way out to Lake County. So if you're there today, I look forward to seeing you there. Uh, thanks very much for making that a sold out event. I hear actually we're going to be near Gavin Newsom's um, uh, winery, which gives me a, an idea or two. Uh, but for now to everybody back at home in the UK, I'm sorry for all the shit that you're going through. Please know that I'm talking about you on the road here and people can't believe uh, we're at the point in the UK where we're making our kids wear stickers to show that they're unclean, because this is essentially what's going on. Yesterday I was at my first rodeo, uh, so I can no longer use the expression, this ain't my first rodeo, because, well I can genuinely use it now, because I've been to rodeo. And let me tell you, rodeo is what you need to go to. If I could bring all of the great British people, which is about 20 million of them, over to America just to be at the rodeo, I would, uh, because there you're only going to find, you know, it's like a soup, a testosterone soup, and it's uh, restorative for the soul. There's just men who walk like they're exceptionally well hung, and they must be to do what they do on the back of these wild horses and bulls. Uh, there's just screaming women who look fantastic in tight jeans and belt buckles. I mean, honestly, I mean, they had other stuff on, but that's the point. Machinery and animals and it's just makes you remember that no bastard is going to tell Americans what to do because they have freedom hardwired into their souls. No one's going to come and take a Ford pickup truck off Americans anytime soon. Um, so if I could bring some of the rodeo to you I desperately would because it's it reminds you that there are real men still on this planet and no one's going to be telling them what to do. So thank you to everybody at the rodeo yesterday. Thank you to my one of my favourite congressmen, D uh, Douglas Malfa. Just so joyous to see people coming up shaking his hand because he has made their lives better. He is pushing back against all this bullshit and he is pushing forwards for freedom. And just to see ordinary men and women come up and shake his hands and say thank you for standing up for us you know, reminds me that that's what politicians are actually supposed to be about. Anyway, onwards with my run, then a three hour trip to Lake County and I look forward to seeing you all there and I'll update you more from the road and I promise you the Katie's Arms, which could do with a bit of time in a gym, I think, um, will be back very soon, as soon as I stop for breath, stop running and stop jumping about. And, uh, and meanwhile, um, you know, I'm conscious that I'm the lucky one being here and, uh, and I'm very sorry of what's going on in this world, but I'm also confident that America will always remain the land of the free. And just as once in the past, California came to the UK to get its vineyards, to plant its vineyards, uh, one day too, we will have to return to America uh, to replant hope uh, and the Christian faith back into the UK. But for now, back, get changed, get back on the road. And I look forward to catching up with all of you soon. Please do hang on in there and know that I'm fighting the good fight for us out here on the road in America.